I'm a foreign English speaking friends. I'm back with the next video episode, and I hope you're having a good time this summer. I've been away for a while for making new videos. You know, I just wanted to take it easy and relax a bit before jumping back into my home studio and start making new videos. Ah oh well, I'm quite well rested now, and here we go with the next video topic: phrasal verbs. This is a very important aspect of English language, and especially spoken English. To put it simply, everyday English has plenty of phrasal verbs in it, and if you want to become a fluent English speaker, you just have to learn a number of them. A phrasal verb is a verb that consists of the main part, main verb, and the second part, particle. Here's an example. Give up. To give is the main verb, and up is the particle. But together these two words create a completely new meaning. To surrender. Most of the times, phrasal verbs are less formal and easier to remember than their formal synonyms. I just made it up means that whatever I told you about wasn't real, I had just invented it. But it's a whole lot easier to say I just made it up instead of I just invented it. And here's why phrasal verbs are very important. First of all, it's much easier to learn a good number of phrasal verbs than their formal synonyms. It's simply because a single verb combined with different particles can form completely new phrasal verbs with unique meanings. So instead of memorizing new words, you just memorize new word combination, which is undoubtedly much easier. Let's take three words. To postpone, to extinguish, and to reconcile oneself with. And their phrasal verb versions to put off, to put out, and to put up with. Now tell me, what do you think? Which is most difficult to learn? The first ones or the last ones? I think anyone will agree that learning how to use one of the simplest English verbs to put combined with the three different particles off, out and up is much easier than memorizing the longer words to postpone, to extinguish and to reconcile. The second reason why phrasal verbs are important, especially in the spoken language, is because they are less formal, they are easier to understand and everyone uses them. But don't take me wrong, of course it won't harm you to know the formal synonyms of those phrasal verbs. But why try to sound very smart and use them when chatting with friends and work colleagues? Just listen to some native English speakers chatting with each other and you'll realize most of action words that they use in their conversations are actually phrasal verbs. Now I'm going to give you two versions of the same conversation so that you can see how different the end result can be depending on what you use more, formal English or phrasal verbs. First of all, a normal, friendly conversation packed with phrasal verbs. Hi, how are you, John? What were you up to during the weekend? Hello, Matt, I'm great, thanks for asking. I made up with Emma and she moved back in on Saturday night. Really? That's cool, man. Great to hear things are looking up for you again. And now, the same conversation, but I'll just replace the phrasal verbs with more formal ones. Ones that are normally taught at school as part of standard English curriculum. Hi, how are you, John? What were you doing during the weekend? Hello Matt, I'm great, thanks for asking. I resolved the argument with Emma and she relocated into my apartment again on Saturday night. Really? That's cool man, great to hear things have started to improve for you again. Now do you see the difference? While the second version of the dialogue is still in normal English, it sounds a bit more formal, it takes a bit longer to tell the same thing and it doesn't sound as friendly as the first version of the dialogue. And on top of that, using phrasal verbs will actually make your English more fluent. If you are among those foreign English speakers who are struggling with speaking English fluently, it's of a particular importance to you. So I suggest you look into this and learn at least a few phrasal verbs to make your life easier. And the best way to learn phrasal verbs as part of natural English conversations is by memorizing them using your subconscious mind. English Harmony System 2.0 is packed full of phrasal verbs and it will definitely improve your ability to speak English in an easy and natural way. So if you're interested, check out the English Harmony system at englishharmony.com and see you soon again!